Dang. Another video game movie. We must be in for a big load of crap. <laughs> Seven is directed by Alexander Batch and stars Rupert Friend, best known for his role as Quinn on the hit TV series Homeland, Hannah Ware, Zachary Quinto, Thomas Kretschmann, and Kieran Hines. And I'm sorry I'm uploading this video so late from when the movie came out. I actually got a chance to see the movie last Thursday night. I was just on vacation. I only got time to do one review. So I'm really sorry that it's this late, but I really wanted to share my feelings about the movie with you guys. Hitman Agent 47 is based off of the Hitman video game franchise, which I'm actually a big fan of, and I'm actually in the middle of working on Hitman Absolution. It's a really fun game. I've actually been working on it for a long time. It's a pretty hard game too, but it's pretty badass. Look, I know everyone hates lots of video game movies, but in my opinion, they aren't so bad. I mean, once in a while we get some good ones. I mean, I ain't even, I ain't even really mind Need for Speed. I thought it was a decent movie. It wasn't great, but it was decent. And I ain't mind Prince of Persia. I thought it was okay. But yes, we do get some really crappy ones sometimes, like 1995's Mortal Kombat, which is just garbage, uh, the Resident Evil franchise, and 2007's Hitman, which was just terrible. And this was actually from the same production company and team that worked on the original Hitman from 2007, so they went back to Square Run, back to the drawing board, to try to recreate this movie. And in case you don't know, Hitman Agent 47 is about this agent named 47 who was created by this agency who creates crazy assassins who are smart and have crazy skills, but they don't have any emotions. And that's who Rupert Friend plays. And his contract is to kill the leader of this thing called the Syndicate, which gets very convoluted at some points. And Zachary Quinto's character, John Smith, is chasing him to try to kill him because the Syndicate wants to know how to make an agent so that they can create their big agency. And Hannah Ware's character is all is caught in the middle of this because they want her too because it turns out that she's an agent. And that's actually not a spoiler. It was spoiled in the trailers. So blame them, kids. Since I'm a big fan of the Hitman game franchise and since the trailers for this movie were phenomenal, I was so excited to see this movie. But I have to say... This movie was a huge disappointment. Also, the effects in this movie are just garbage. I mean, like, there's some scenes in this movie where the effects look like they're straight out of the Hitman video games. It is so stupid. There's a scene in this movie, as you can see in the trailer, where, like, there's bad guys flying from the buildings, like, onto ropes, ropes or zip lines, and then Hitman shoots them with his gun and stuff, and when he shoots them they fall down obviously and you can tell that when they're coming out of the building they're real people those are real like stunt guys then when they fall you can tell that they were just stretched in a in a computerized way so that they can just fall on a car and it just looks so bad and you've seen this movie where a plane explodes and it just looks like you could do that on like an action effects app one of my biggest problems with this movie is surprisingly Zachary Quinto. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Zachary Quinto is a great actor. I love him as Spock in the Star Trek J.J. Abrams movies. And he was even great in this little movie called Margin Call, which is a very underrated movie that no one went to see. And he was even good in, like, the very few episodes he was in of that first season of American Horror Story. But in this movie, Zachary Quinto was just terrible. Now, look, it's not all his fault. It's mostly the way Skip Woods wrote his character. But the way he delivers his stupid, cheesy lines is so stupid. Like, um... In the second trailer for this movie, there's a scene where they show Hitman and Zachary Quinto's character fighting. And Hitman stabs Zachary Quinto with, like, this knife. But then, like, it, like, breaks on his chest and he's like, pretty crazy, huh? I was, like, one of the worst lines in movie history. It was just so stupid. And, like, there's this whole convoluted thing with, like, how Zachary Quinto's character has, like, this 
body armor that were like, if you shoot him, there's like a hole, and like, he doesn't die, and it was so stupid, and he was a misused character. And where do I even start with this character's name? His name is John Smith. Are you fucking kidding me? John Smith? I mean, what kind of plain, normal, cookie-cutter name is that? It, was, it just annoyed me so much. Like, they were like, oh, John Smith is John Smith. It was just so stupid and annoying. And his character was just so misused. And it could have been an awesome, like, chase movie. But it was just so misused. And what I'm still trying to figure out about this movie is why would they hire Skip Woods again? And if you, in case you don't know who Skip Woods is, he is a screenwriter who, who writes lots of action movies. And he even wrote the 2007 Hitman. So if they knew that that movie wasn't a critically acclaimed movie and they wanted to fix what they did wrong with that movie, why would you hire the same writer who wrote the same garbage script of the 2007 movie? That's not the only bad movie he's written. No, he, he wrote Max Payne with Mark Wahlberg, which was garbage. He wrote A Good Day to Die Hard, which is one of the worst movies ever made. He he wrote the A Team, which I don't, which I didn't mind that movie, but it's not a good script. And he also wrote Sabotage, which I also didn't mind, but it's still not a good script. I just can't figure out why they would hire Skip Woods again, which leads me to my next point. This movie has one of the worst scripts of all time. The dialogue in this movie is so cheesy, and it's the same stupid spy type dialogue. It's so bad and the only actor who delivered his lines well is Rupert Friend. I mean, he's not the only person who gave a good performance. Hannah Ware was pretty good too, but he was the only person who I actually like kind of believed. But it wasn't the other people's fault. It was Skip Woods' fault. He's a terrible writer. Also, the storyline is all over the place and convoluted. It feels like a mix of a bunch of different movies. And I can just imagine the filmmakers of this movie, like behind the scenes, just being like, yeah, our movie's gonna be awesome, so we can just put everything there, people are gonna like it. It was just so stupid, and I wish they would've used a storyline from the video game. I mean, I didn't mind them going in a different direction, but still the way they did it really differently from the video game. And my last problem with this movie is the ending. It is so bad. Like, it's just like, oh, there's gonna be a sequel to this movie, because... It was just all set up in the end, all exposition, set up, set up, set up, and I, I, the way it ended, I wanted it to continue from where it was going. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but it, it could have kept going for like another 20 or 25, 30 minutes, and it would have been an awesome ending. Now, although this movie was pretty crappy, there were a few decent things about it. First of all, the action was shot incredibly, but that was probably only because the two veteran stuntmen that directed the action sequences were the guys who directed the entirety of John Wick, which was an incredible action movie from last year. But uh, other than that, like, all the other scenes were like there wasn't action happening. I just felt bored. There were some scenes at the beginning where it was just, like, talking about espionage and stuff and, like, showing Zachary Quinto and Hannah Ware's character and uh, Hitman Agent 47 was barely in like the first half hour and the, after the first half hour when Hitman and Hannah Ware's character Katia like team up like the movie kind of takes Viagra like the movie picks up a notch even though it doesn't get like a good movie it kind of just picks up a notch and gets a bit better because Hitman's in the movie for longer. Also, again, after the first hour, first half hour of this movie, I kind of felt like jittery as a fanboy because there were some action scenes that kind of felt like you were actually playing the video game and controlling Hitman Agent 47. Also, Rupert Friend nails it as Hitman Agent 47. He, he is so Hitman. I felt like I was controlling him throughout this movie. Like, he, he embodies that emotionless character, and he was just so incredible in the way he delivered his lines. Other than those things, though, Hitman Asian 47 is a big letdown. I'm going to give it a C-. minus. This is probably going to maybe be in my top ten worst movies of the year. Uh, he has incredible action sequences, but it's kind of terrible. I was so disappointed by this. I mean, not as disappointed as I was by Fantastic Four. That was just garbage, but 
the Hitman 847 is a big letdown. I only recommend seeing it if you are a fan of the video game and if you just might have a different opinion on the movie. I don't know. I All movies are subjective, so you might like it. But I feel like a fan of the video game will be let down. But if you just want to have a fun, stupid time at the movies with a dumb action movie, then I guess you can go see Hitman Agent 47 if you just want to see some really good action sequences. But otherwise, I would just wait until it's on DVD or Blu-ray. And if you want to see it, just pop it in and just have a good time. It's, it's really a bad movie. It's, it's not a good movie. I'm really disappointed. I hope that I hope... I really hope that Warcraft changes the game, please Warcraft. Anyway guys, have you seen Hitman Agent 47? Are you looking forward to seeing it? Are you a fan of the video game? Which which is your favorite video game? Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to have some reviews this weekend up for We Are Your Friends, No Escape. I might do some other videos too. But anyway guys, please like this video and as always, subscribe for more. Anyway guys, have you seen Hitman Agent 47? Are you looking forward to seeing it? Are you a fan of the video game? Which which is your favorite video game? Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to have some reviews this weekend up for We Are Your Friends, No Escape. I might do some other videos too. But anyway guys, please like this video and as always, subscribe for more.